What's up guys, it's Juggler23451 here, and I'm getting questions now about water cooling and what parts are needed to water cool your computer, or CPU for that matter. So I'll give a little tour of what you need so you'll be able to water cool uh, just your CPU for uh, my case in point. So. Okay, what you need is a CPU water block, which is right here. This is a heat killer, this is like the top dog I guess when it comes to two water blocks and then what I got with it is half inch barbs it's a one fourth G to half inch barbs and then what came with the bits power half inch bars were these little clamps you can use these right here these little clamps there or you can use just regular zip ties they work just as good um, you need fans right here if I can get them there you see them spinning right here that's what you need um, good uh, fan to get is a Yate Loon high speed 120 millimeter fans and I uh, get a fan controller and then next is your radiator which is right here you can see my Fuser radiator you also need reservoir this is the EK spin reservoir you don't have to get this huge reservoir. You can get a single bay reservoir, or you can get a micro reservoir, which would mount like you can put it in your case, like right here if you wanted. Just mount it inside your case. And also, you need a pump. If I can get some light in there, I'll be able to show you. Right there, that's the pump. That's the MCP655 pump that is a variable speed and you can just get uh, without variable speed if you want and th this is the basic part you need to water cool a loop and also I forgot to mention tubing this right here is 7 16th tubing you can get it from jabtech.com and it's 60 cents a foot and I got 7 feet so total came out with shipping and all is only 9 bucks you don't have to get the expensive Tygon tubing. This works just fine. And if anybody wants to know what I'm hitting for temperatures on my CPU at idle, I'm getting 19 degrees. So that's pretty good. Alright. I think that's about it. But uh, if people are wondering why I don't have my computer on, it's because uh, I didn't quite all get all the bubbles out of the reservoir and now I'm having on my pump on high speed. And I'm um, getting all the bubbles out. And also, if you want to know how to jump your PSU, it's basically you take your green wire right here. I don't know if you can see it, but let me see if I can get a light. But green wire, which would be right here, and then you connect it to any black wire. And what that does, it creates a load onto your PSU. Which is mine's right here. I got the 1000 watt Corsair modular power supply, and it basically starts it up and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh, guide helps you out a little bit. Um, if you have any questions about water cooling, go ahead and shoot me a message via YouTube and I'll answer it as soon as I can. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and rate this video. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.